and they create too so this is why we see if it's very strange when Muhammad he said that the Sabia and the Christians and the Jews they will go to heaven because how the Sabia they enter this group what the Sabia have to do with those group the Christians and the Jews they are not worshiping the same God of the Sabia. Actually, the Sabian, they, they they hate, they hate Adonai, they hate Jehovah, they hate Elohim. Anyone knows why? Why the Sabia they hate this name? Who knows? Let us see how many of you is learning from what we teach. Why the Sabian? This is chapter two, verse number sixty-two. Why the Sabia, or the Sabian? why they hate the god of the jews no they don't worship allah and they have nothing to do with allah that's a, that's false the sabi and they hate the jews because the god of the jews he killed the pharaoh and his army or let's say he killed the the army of the pharaoh The Pharaoh people, they are Sabi and at least according to the Sabi and as they believe. So Adonai or Elohim or Jehovah is the God of the Jews who he killed the army of the Pharaoh. He killed the Sabi and so they believe that he is their enemy. So how we can put them together? But this is can be explained very easy. Muhammad is a hypocrite man. And in the beginning of his journey, claiming to be a prophet, he wanted the support of everybody. Nobody believed in him. So he starts saying, okay, Jews, Christians, Sabian, anyone who believe in Allah in the last days, he is going to heaven. Later, Muhammad, he changed. Christians, Jews, go to heaven. Why you are calling me, my friend? Only Muslims call me, please. Don't call me. Do you see the hypocrisy? He was talking to the same Christians in his time. How the Christians, they are people who will go to hell because they corrupted the book. Yet Muhammad here, he promised them they will go to heaven. How the Jews who corrupted the book and they are the enemy of Allah, they will go to heaven. How the Sabians who worship stars, they will go to heaven. The Sabian, not exactly. The Sabian, there, there's a connection between them and as the as a, as a, like, you know, you see, uh, those Sabian is not only just one group too. It's like there is a groups of them. Uh, to speak about the Sabians, we have to like there's a uh, there's a their book. It's called Kenza Rabba. And uh, Kenza Rabba, actually, I have the book here. I, I read their book when I was, I think I was nine years old. <laughs> uh, actually, the, the one I, 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 I did read, it was not really the book, it was a summary about their book. Uh, anyway. Brother. Uh, Hello? Uh, yes. Can you hear me? Yes, I do hear you. Go ahead. Hi there, brother. Um, my name is Shmaki Noor, and um, I'm Somali. So Somali has about 98.2% Muslims. All right. So the problem is, me, I'm not Muslim. I left. So every time I debate, every time I talk to him, I give him the clear evidence. They just don't, they waste my time. And there's nothing that can do them. Mm. Well, so, you're not wasting your time, my friend. Let me tell you, explain to you something. Uh, have you ever seen a faucet somewhere like uh, 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 dropping water in in a in a in a in the ground and there is a oh. hole in the ground? Yes, sir. Okay. So a drop of water is very soft, right? It's very weak. Okay. Okay. Still, it can make a hole in the rock. Okay. You are that water, my friend. So what do you want me to say? To, like I gave them all the evidence of it's, it. It's what they, the deny, culture they thing? deny in the beginning. Yes. As I said, you are the same as that water. It takes time. They try to resist because it's very harmful. You know, you are speaking to a rock. 
And yeah. this rock is a rock, it's a stubborn, it's hard. So this rock trying to fight the water, the water is very soft. Still yeah. the water will win. Why? Because you are yeah. consistent and you are truthful yeah. and you will go through. Yeah. All right, so my friends? next question is, I'm not Christian, so um, I left Islam. So why should I believe in Christianity? Because I came from a cult before. Well, so, why you don't believe in Christianity? Did you study Christianity? Did you search it? I looked into it, but in the sense of like saying that original sin does not make sense to me. So just enlighten me. Okay, what original sin according to your understanding? What does that mean? My understanding from Christianity is not as strong as like I have some beliefs that I was instilled in from a young age. Hmm. But what original sin for you? I mean, the way, because you're saying it doesn't make sense. Adam, so I want to say Adam, what is Adam, making sense? What about it? Go ahead. From Adam, from the sense of like Adam, like Adam did the original sin hmm. and then Jesus came and then Jesus like um, repent. Not I don't know if it's like repent or he died for the sins. I'm just a little bit confused on that. Let me explain to you. You see, when okay. we say the original sin, it's very simple. Why okay. Adam was kicked out from heaven? Because he could, he, he did sin, correct? Correct. Okay. That is original sin, but doesn't mean that I am uh, going to hell yeah. just because Adam, he commits sin. No. Okay. Original sin mean that Adam was a sinner, I am a sinner too. And now, yeah. original sin, which is the reason for us to be out of heaven, but yet yeah. still we are sinners too, which means if we go in heaven back, uh, God will, will, will take us out because we, we, we did the same as Adam. So now we have the original sin, which means it is us who carry the sin of Adam, not by inheritance, by blood, but we did the same as Adam did. We, we commit sin every day. So original sin is with us, which means we are the human who commits sin, disobeying God. And we cannot go back to where we are kicked out from heaven unless we are going to be forgiven. So when we say that Jesus, he paid for our sin, it doesn't mean that Jesus, he gave you a license to sin. Jesus yeah. is simply what what this uh, what uh, what uh, what Christianity believe that like I, I know that sometimes it's confusing when Christian they say Jesus he paid for our sin and then uh, a Muslim or non-Muslim he will say uh huh so yeah. uh, okay Christians uh, Jesus paid for their sin so they can sin no yeah. Jesus said not yeah. everyone says to me God God lord okay. lord will enter the kingdom of my father okay but the one who do his will so be you know be, be being our savior it does not mean that we are welcome to do sin and sin more as we wish being our savior mean that okay you're being kicked out from heaven for committing sin and you are a sinner the same as your father which means adam still okay. I am willing to save you and accept you in my heaven if you do my will. So saving to be saved by Jesus have conditions. And you cannot be hypocrite and yet you will be saved. Correct. If we go to John, we will find Jesus clearly saying that he is the living God and he is the one who is going to save us from you know uh, from uh, the hell to come to us is going to is coming it's a it's just a matter of time when this mm -hmm. hell is going to come however yeah. the messiah now he don't judge us he gave us opportunity to repent and if we yeah. repent and we follow him then we are going to be forgiven and we will be taken to the kingdom of god so paying for our sin does not mean a license for sin Absolutely not. Actually, it's the opposite. Jesus, he make it more strict. Jesus he said, if your eye will mislead you, cause you to go to hell, you better take it off from your head. So the, the eye will go better than all of you go to hell. So okay. Christ, he make it more strict to be out of sin, far away from sin. Not yeah. as some Muslim, they try to make you believe that, okay, the Christian, they say that Jesus, he paid for our sin. That's mean we can go and we can sleep around and we can take drugs and we can uh, do all kind of sin. That's yeah. only in Islam. In Islam, the Muhammad and the Quran, Allah he told him, we forgive your sin in the past and the one to come. We don't believe in such a garbage. Do you understand what so, I'm saying? Okay, in the context of like Muhammad, right? He like he's forgiven for his sins and whatever he did, right? Before he even did it, correct? 
before even he do it it's in the future this is chapter 48 verse number two, yeah. two. it's in the screen i'm showing it so yeah allah forgive your sin and the muslim they fabricate they say your fault in arabic it says them and them is a sin change the translator you will see right away how the translation change they have no shame to lie that allah may forgive thee of the sin that which in the past and which is to come in Christianity, this is absolutely against God. God did not forgive our sin to come, and God don't forgive our sin to in the past unless we repent and we promise that we will fight our sin. So this is why Jesus said, "Not everyone says to me, God, God will enter the kingdom of my Father, but the one who do His will." Which means, in order to go there, it's not saying to me, "God, God will be saving you." You know what I mean? Yeah, in the Muslim, right? If all you gotta do is take a shahada and you're good to go no matter what. Say correct? shahada. There's many ways to forgive sin in Islam. If you repeat the name of Allah 33 times, Allah forgive you, yeah. take you to brother. I mean, in the say, context of like, 33 times. Uh, context of like going to hell, all you gotta do is repent. Uh, not repent. All you gotta do not is say the kalima. You don't have to do everything, yeah. but eventually you will get you will get out of hell, correct? No matter what, you eventually, if you're a Muslim, you will go to Jannah. Yes, not necessarily repent, Muhammad. Uh, in Islam, I thought it was said that if you um if you um if you say the kalima right, no matter what sins you do or everything, you will first go to hell and for whatever time, as long as you said the kalima, you good to go to Jannah in Islam. Yeah, and there is there's tons of stories. As example, if you even touch the black stone in the Yemeni corner, yeah, you will go to heaven. So and in Christianity, so you know, in Islam, you got to pray five times a day. So I want to know: Do you actually have to, like, with all your heart, believe? Can I not just gamble it away and say, "Okay, I accept Jesus as my savior," no, and then not practice? No, you have to believe. Otherwise, you see, this is why is this why Jesus said, "If you go to Matthew, Matthew yeah. chapter seven, we're reading from chapter seven. Uh, let me okay. read it for you on the screen. Uh, in Matthew chapter seven, uh, Jesus okay. said, "Not everyone." Uh, uh, says to me God God which mean okay you can say God God but you cannot fool me you cannot lie to me you know yeah. this is this is a deception yeah. Jesus don't accept deceivers and liars so either you are okay. a believer who believe truly okay. or you are a non-believer and you okay. cannot lie to God because when you say God God what what is the point of saying not everyone says to me God God will enter the kingdom of my father which mean okay, okay. you say Shahada Hey God, God, I believe in you. I believe in you. But when in in, in real life, you yeah. do totally the opposite. Why? Because you are a liar, and you cannot lie to God. Be with me carefully. This is Jesus talking. Yeah. It is not everyone that says to me, "My Lord, My Lord," who yeah. entered the kingdom of heaven, but whoever does his the will of My Father who is in heaven. So what is the condition to go to heaven in Christianity? Yeah, is to do not to say Okay, there's a huge difference between say because talk is cheap as we say, right? Okay, imagine we have a poor guy and he is dying from hunger and then we say yeah. uh, I pray that uh, God will feed you Will you feed him yeah. You know, what about you feed him? So yeah. it's not what you say. It's what you do. This is why Jesus said from their fruits you shall know them so how the messiah he will recognize us from our fruits not from our names i can call myself a christian prince and might be the biggest sinner ever yeah. so calling myself a christian wearing a cross will not make me christian so um why should i believe in christianity because i left islam right so because i watched your stuff and everything it's easy you know what i mean it's easy for like you tell people like you tell us like what's wrong with islam and everything hmm. and i seen it and i did my research but then yeah, I, I don't see why should i believe in christianity why should i not be just an atheist okay did you leave a stand because you're watching my videos yeah okay that's wonderful let, let, now let me ask you when you say yeah. why i should believe in christianity who said that yeah. you should this is not about you should it's about okay. the right thing to do you see okay. there's what, evidence, what evidence you have that Christianity is right well okay. everything everything you know uh, okay uh, you see the first thing a, a second ago I told you Jesus said from their yeah. fruits you shall know them correct okay so it, it has a practice the logic of the Messiah on him okay and if he is a hypocrite then he is not the one to follow 
if yeah. he is a person who kept everything he said and he practiced everything he said that's mean he is the one to follow so okay. did Jesus rape kill steal did Jesus teach hate did Jesus say something and do something like Jesus in the cross he said father forgive them they do not know what they are doing he forgave those who were killing him yeah. okay and look how this match with Jesus teaching when they said to him how we pray he says yeah. say this our father out of heaven and then he said forgive to us the same as we forgive to others so what is the first requirement to be a Christian <laughs> to be in the kingdom of God that you are a person who forgive and what Jesus did in the cross he forgive yeah he forgive who he forgive not somebody he took a food from him or money yeah. he forgive those who they are crucifying him in the moment he is dying in the cross and now he is worried about them thinking about their salvation saying father forgive them and here you notice that what Jesus say in the okay. previous when he was relaxing not being tortured or killed it was exactly what he did and this is how you know who is truthful who is not there's a person yeah. he says to you I will stand with you if you are hungry I will be with you if you are fighting I will be with you if you if, if somebody attack you when when the risk come they will be the okay. first one to flee okay. you will have people they are coming to visit you when you are rich but when you are poor nobody come to your home okay. this is how you know who is a true friend and who is not and that is Jesus my friend but the Messiah he could not save himself from the cross why no, he should did, I my friend no he, this is why we believe in the resurrection because okay. resurrection is about okay imagine yeah. you kill me I come back to life so how you say I'm not I did not save myself but I was not there to like witness the, the there's I many, seen this like four there's witness many things, or, like, there's many things my it. friend did you witness your birth me yeah but I know the impact of I could not be alive with no, my no, birth. I'm asking you did you witness your birth my birth huh? I did not witness it but okay. I know did that, you that the birth I had of your to mother Okay, did you witness the birth of your mother with my respect to her? Um, I, I did not witness it, but without her, I could not be logically All right. without her, I could not so be here. Did you witness the did you did you witness uh, the waves? The waves, like what radio wave? waves. Did you witness them? The what waves, say it again. Waves, 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 like radio waves. Radio waves? Yeah. I, I don't I did not witness it, but I know without it there could be no but, like radio if, waves if, or okay, like X ray if, and all the other but stuff. If a five hundred years ago, if a five hundred years ago I okay. say to you there is something called wave and somebody will speak from China and you can hear him in USA you will laugh at me correct yeah. okay. so could you show me the evidence that 500 years ago that the past like I don't know who said that yeah they will become a savior could you just tell me that what evidence well, you Jesus, have for that Jesus he said that 2000 years ago I'm not talking about the wave now I'm talking about things which is not seen the reason you are saying to me I don't okay. believe because I can I don't see Jesus right yeah, no, I don't see. I don't. It's not about seeing. It's about evidence. Could you give me evidence? If like, there's like, enough evidence, like yeah, I'll do it right evidence, now. Like what? If you give me evidence that's like what, solid what, proof, what I'll evidence? accept it right now. What what kind of evidence we are talking about? Like evidence, like in the Quran, you know how they say like there's scientific evidence or like any. Uh, give me evidence that's clear, like clear, clear as day. Well, you know, we don't care really for science much, but the, the Bible is full of those. As an example, the the Bible speak about the earth is hanged on nothing. And yeah. the the circle of the earth, the globe of the earth, but yeah. we, this is not a way for me to prove that the God is uh, true. I mean, this would be silly because uh, there's many things we don't agree with. That doesn't agree with science. As an example, uh, Jesus is born of a virgin. That is not scientific. But that's a miracle, though. Okay, thank you very much. So, when we say it's a miracle, even science, even scientists, there's things they can't explain. They say it's a miracle. Like there's somebody who have a cancer, he healed. They say it's a miracle yeah. why because they can't explain what happened so yeah. even science cannot explain many things around us and even scientists they call it a miracle and God yeah. himself is a miracle so everything around you is a miracle yeah. you know imagine the 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 way of a prediction which mean you one day or me and you one day we used to be a little tiny cell in the mother and then that thing grow and became a baby and then it become you and me that is a miracle uh, the, the 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 earth the beauty uh, the universe it's it is a miracle and nobody can enter now no science can explain it, it whatever a, a theory they come with it's a theory nobody witnessed the Big Bang as they claim but yet some many people believe in it but there's many scientists don't believe in it so yes. everything around us 
is a matter of belief including science you know many people believe in the Big Bang but there's nothing nobody can practice the Big Bang nobody witnessed the Big Bang but yet they believe in it and here you see the contradiction of those who call themselves atheists they refuse to believe in God because they do not see God what and about they, agnostic then agnostic is a somebody he's confused about his gender as I see it like somebody he's not <laughs> sure he's a male or female you know what agnostic? no but it's like I believe in God but I just don't follow the religion because no, like no, no, as no, it says, see, I just have a question for you were you born Christian uh, uh, there's nothing it's called born a Christian Christianity you have to be I mean, did you, was your, okay let me say was your parent Christian yes correct yes. right yes yes but I am so, not following I'm yeah. not following I am a thinker I am a thinker okay. not only just a believer so and I think you can tell right I spend a lot of my time in my life reading and studying and searching so uh, we don't believe that a person who is born as Muhammad Muhammad he believe that everyone is born as a Muslim and then his parents they make him a Jew or a Christian or a Jew it's a isn't that so yeah no Muslim no, no I'm not disagreeing no, Islam is does not false. make sense no. I want to talk about Christianity no Islam 100% don't make sense and I fully agree on that and I'm Somali and it's the sense of like in Somali the people don't know science they don't know they just elude the donkeys man so anyway, there's no way of fooling them so in order for me to prove to you yeah. uh, uh, the Messiah uh, yeah. uh, I don't know really what to prove you are looking for but I advise you to ask the Messiah himself to prove himself to you because Christianity is a personal experience more than it is a group you see there's a there's a theory is called the the cattle theory which means uh, everybody buying this clothes we buy all of us the same fashion Everybody eating this uh, going to this restaurant we go like the more the more people they go there the more people join not because it's convincing just because there's a lot of people go there like if you go to a restaurant and you see it empty you don't feel like going in because why it's empty but yeah. if you get a group of people just you can try it with your friends get five six people in the street and make them look down in the ground and make a circle you will find that people they come and join the circle just to look what they are looking at so this is this is a, this is a cattle like the animal theory how we behave we don't want to be that Christianity is God inviting you as an individual not as a group everyone should have his own experience with the Lord and he would answer you so so if I just accept the Lord right as my Savior no right? no no, no. Have not, to, like, before you accept him no, no 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 so Jesus what? said listen Jesus said knock at the door and I will open for you and the one who knock is not somebody really is a believer already yeah. he's trying to, to believe he's trying to see he's trying to, to find out this is why, you know, in order to find him, you have to look for him, and then he yeah. will answer you. So, what about you start reading the gospel, the four gospels of Jesus, and then let us see what the gospels would do with you. Speak, yeah. try to be spiritual, not somebody he wanna just read, you know, like yeah. it's a magazine. So, yeah. have, try to have, find a relationship with the yeah. one who says those words, and I'm sure he will be there. Otherwise, if you say to me, how you can prove to me Jesus? Okay, well, how I can do that to you? You know, I believe that Jesus, uh, uh, as a person, uh, he's amazing. He's okay. very beautiful. I'm not talking about a look. He's very okay. beautiful uh, uh, in teaching, in ethic, uh, in peace. Okay. And the most thing is attractive for me about the Messiah is uh, when he said, uh, "Love your enemy." Okay. When I say, when I say, somebody says to me, "Love my enemy." I mean, this guy is not. This, this person let's say he's a guy he's a man he said yeah. something is not what a human say not there's no human in this earth ever said love your enemy that no, is I love, uh, yeah I get it yeah even in the Quran that um, Allah he still punishes people and he says I'm the most merciful of the most merciful but he's and I've looked at the Bible Matthews whatever it says even if they hate you or even they don't love you show them something I don't remember exactly what it was what yeah. verse was that but here you will find the secret about God how to find God as I said to you that from their fruits you shall know them and that is the fruit of Jesus so uh, 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 and for sure now there's many miracles happening in the name of Jesus but you will not believe in them unless they happen in front of your eyes correct okay well there is a miracle just happened last week you can go and check it out every year there's a light come from the empty tomb of the Messiah in Jerusalem every year for the last 2,000 years and nobody knows how this happened there's miracles happen every day but as I said this is a personal experience people he got healed people uh, they have miracles they witness miracles in their life but again yeah. this is something personal if it's personal, how do you not know if that's like their brain playing tricks on them 
or they have like Muhammad being sacrophenic, imagining stuff. No, no, there's things you cannot imagine it. I mean, if somebody was dying and something happened to save him, that is not imagining. You know, there's a huge difference. And as I said again, this is a, a personal experience. This yeah. is a personal experience. Uh, uh, and you have you yourself, you have to live it. So, in, in order to to know what I'm talking about, uh, yeah. So I cannot really, I cannot say to you, uh, you have to believe in Jesus. But yeah. I say to you, he is the only way for salvation. And then so my next question is hmm. like in Islam, right? You know how like if the message comes to you, there's like a, if you arrogant, like if the message comes to you like now, right? You're giving me the message, right? And it's clear, right? If I don't accept it, am I going to hell? Because you gave me the message and told me about it. My friend, it's not me who decide who go to hell, who go to heaven. I am a sinner like you. I know better than you. Okay. Uh, but okay. it is the Messiah who gave you a chance. This is why I just said to you, he said, knock at the door and I will answer you. So it's not just like a one-time deal as long you are breathing before you die yeah. and you let us say before you die but yeah. it's not your plan you know it's not as I said not everyone says to me God God which mean the second you say that you have to be a really truly a believer you get my point so yes, like I say I want to I wanna, I'm dying now somebody shot me oh okay I say oh Jesus I believe in you you cannot fool God that's it because he knew your heart so you have to be a believer and you have to be a person who is willing to do the will of God okay and what that will save God? you we that will that. save you so the the fruits you do is something will follow automatically by the belief you do which means we as a Christian we are not saved by the fruits we are saved first by the belief which means if I believe and I don't have the fruits. That's mean I am a hypocrite. I am a liar. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. It's like a tree. Jesus, he gave an example of the fig tree. There's a tree which does not give fr a fruit. And then even Jesus is asking the tree to give a fruit when it's not even a season for it. And this is an example for us because I can say it's not my time. There's nothing that's called my time for Jesus or for God. You are born to give a fruit. You are existing this earth to give a fruit. So not everyone says to me, God, God, you say, God, God, then you should be a person who changed. The believe it changed you. So how come you say, God, God, but you don't do the will of God? And what is the will of God? To be loving, to be merciful, to be, uh, to be giving, uh, uh, to be harmless to people, uh, to help the poor, to help the old, to help, I mean, all the good fruits, which is automatically, but yet it's not the fruit is saving you, but the fruit have to come from a true believer which means if you are a true believer then that fruit will not come from you i don't know what to say man because it's really it's just really hard you know what i mean coming from from something i believed in my whole life leaving my whole culture and my religion and now it's just really hard man because i just don't know what to say because it's not because i don't want to accept it's just i don't know because <laughs> Because like there's a lot of stuff. I just don't know what to say, man. But I, I'm just I gonna. Don't, I don't want yeah. you to say I believe if you don't. But if you believe, I invite you right now. If you feel that Christ is really the one and the way, if you believe that in your heart, I invite you right now. Uh, you know to to accept the Messiah as your savior. Because you know, uh, first of all, me as a believer, um, we do not know when me or you will die. Maybe now, after two minutes, I will die. You know. Yeah. Maybe, maybe you never know so salvation is not really uh, a joke to play with uh, you yeah. can delay uh, buying a car uh, you can delay going a trip but uh, you delay salvation you might lose it forever so I take the advantage and the opportunity to save a person I believe he, he you know he uh, he deserved to be saved and I believe that you are a good person so I invite you to believe in the Messiah as your own personal Savior and he will guide you he will he will you know he will he will he will be with you he said every two mention my name I will be between them I will, which means I will be the third so right okay. now we speak about him he is listening to us and the Bible says a rejoice a happiness will be in the kingdom of God for somebody he was saved so now if you are saved imagine this is how beautiful our Lord is happiness for the kingdom of God will be for you my friend so I invite you to accept the Messiah as your savior. 
as you said, man, words are cheap. You know what I mean? I don't want to go on air and say I accept it because, man, you still do not give me enough evidence to like, if you, I'm just asking for enough evidence that I'll do it right now, man. I'm a logical sound person. I'm mm. a person that makes sense. So just give me, just give me some evidence well, I, well, that's I don't know clear. what evidence you are looking for. I'm not sure what evidence you are looking for. What What is the evidence of what? Any evidence, man. Like is that like not what? getting any evidence? Like what? Any man, anything you can think of, anything. I don't know what does that, that mean? I mean, what is uh, what does that mean? What evidence? Okay, let me just say this. Why do you believe in? Why are you so certain Christianity is correct? Uh, because simply, you know, uh, the second you believe in the Messiah, you are a different person. You know, okay. when I when I was a kid, I was a very uh, aggressive. Yeah. Uh, I like to fight, and if somebody yeah. look at me, I jump on him. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I go in the street if somebody just look at me. I, I go for a fight. Why are you are looking? So okay. the Messiah he changed me totally From a person to a person. There is no way to explain it But there's some Muslim people that that come to Islam they do crime and everything and then they feel differently That's exactly they do crimes where they do more crimes because Islam increase violence not decrease. No, I'm violence. saying in the context of the in the, that's a, <laughs> Islam is a bad example, but um Islam is really a bad example, no, but it's, um, not a bad example. Example. No, no, no. Um, it's a perfect example, my friend. Huh? The the God I you mean, follow, no Islam is a perfect example because look, you will see a yeah. person who was not killing anyone, and then he convert yeah. to Islam, and second day he want to do jihad. Right? Yeah, but then so the, you yes, know some people like no, in Quran, Satan, my friend. It's, it's like yeah, the slay the disbeliever where you see them. Some people just avoid that kind of stuff and just take the good goody goody. It's a good part of it. No, they don't. They don't. You see, when you are a Muslim, when you okay. convert to Islam, you believe in okay. violence. You don't believe in peace. So, uh, uh, if he don't do it now, doesn't mean he don't believe in it. So, doing it because maybe he is not a true believer. He is not okay. yet. He is not okay. yet brave. Not true believer. Okay, good. My, my parents are Muslim, but they don't go to jihad. They don't because go to jihad. They are not a true my believer. Muslim, trust me, because they don't jihad. Friend, because they are not a true believers. If it, if uh, because. The, the Quran says it clearly that the best believer is the one who do jihad. What does it say that? All over the Quran, my friend. You Could know, you show me? I, I want to see exactly what it says. Those ones who are the best. I never saw that ever. All right. Let us I, just want, I know it says slay the disbeliever where you see them. And if they if they don't accept that, I've seen those stuff. But I'm talking about in the Quran, not Hadith. You want Quran? Not yeah, hadith. not Hadith. Quran. Okay. Let us see from the Quran. Do you, can you see my screen or you don't see my yeah screen? I can see it I can see it I'm using my phone okay. I'm using my phone go ahead okay. uh, let us see <clears throat> even though I know Islam is bad and everything but I never saw that that's the thing yeah, because you know, there's many uh, Muslims. They are not really true believers. Uh, chapter nine, verse number twenty, and chapter nine, verse number eighty-eight. Yeah. Read with me, please. Can you read for us the verse? Could you say? Can I see the English version? Yeah, I'm showing the English version, not the, the not the Arabic. Not the Arabic. But that's not what you said though. No, this one it says you see here the translate for you the word is striven. This is jihad. In Arabic it says read carefully with me. Alladina Amanu Wahajaru Wajahadu Fi Sabidillahi bi Amwalihim wa Amfusahum by their money and their by blood. They die for Allah. They have the greatest the greatest degree for Allah. Huh. <laughs> And the word jihadu is here in the front of your eyes. You see it? Here we go. This is the yeah. word jihadu, jihad. Yeah. But I thought jihad means to like struggle. No, a struggle, yes. The best of the jihad is to go in war. Struggle anything is struggle. You know, to build a house is a struggle. Yeah. If you are sick, you are struggling. If you have if you have a flu, you are struggling. But this is not the Quran saying. You know, the Quran is saying about those who go and leave their homes to join Allah Prophet in jihad. Why they leave? What was the purpose of Hijrah? To do jihad. 
But I thought there's another ayah. It says those at, um when they when they come for you. I'm not sure what it said. It's like um if they fight you, you fight them back. It's something like that. My friend Muhammad, he, Muhammad is a is a war uh, lord, which means every stage have a have its own stage verses. So Muhammad, uh, in the beginning, he says the Christian, the Jews, they go to heaven. Then the Christian, the Jews, they will go to hell. The same yeah. as the kuffar in the beginning he signed a peace agreement with them but in the okay. same chapter chapter 9 verse number one he washed his hands from the peace agreement because muhammad when he is weak he signed when he is strong he destroy so it's just a, po a politics it's a pure gaming he is not honest you know and this is why muhammad yeah. in different verse in the quran says say you know fight not for peace when you are the uppermost Which mean Muslims when they are weak, they sign peace agreement. Like now, they sign peace agreement with the uh, with, with the Jews with Israel. But the Muslims are not allowed to do that. Why? Yeah. Unless unless they uh, they are weak. Read carefully, chapter three, verse number one thirty nine, chapter forty seven, verse number thirty five. Both yeah. of them saying the same. Cry not, faith not, hatred, crying for peace when you should be the uppermost. So when the Muslim they can seek peace, only if they are not the uppermost temporarily. The second they are the uppermost, they will attack you and they will take your land. Okay. Okay. So did I prove to you what I'm saying? Oh, uh, Muslims are like even in Saudi Arabia, you cannot practice your religion openly. But when they come to like the West, they have to practice their religion openly. So, what do you mean they don't practice their religion? Openly? Like, 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 I mean, in my country, not Saudi, I mean, in Somalia, my bad. I mean, Somalia, right? In my country, you cannot practice um Islam in no other religion but Islam. Yeah. But if they come to the West, they have to, it's unfair that they have to do their religion, but then the West, we have to let them do it there in their religion. Is that not unfair? See, uh, okay, you give me an example about the West. When a Muslim, he come to the West, he compromise because he is not the uppermost. Okay. Okay, but he is not allowed to compromise if he is the uppermost. Okay. That's the, this is because it's satanic. Okay. So there's, there's two standards, double standard, it's hypocrisy. Yeah. Okay. So now you say to me how I can prove to you Jesus I just did. Jesus does not allow hypocrisy. If he is not truthful, well, he should be not be truthful. You know, we should find a way of him being a lying to us because if simply if he is not what he claimed, he should be a liar. He should not think then, us. Um, so I will ask you, do people use Jesus' name in vain? You can use God's name in vain as you wish, but that I mean, to change people use Jesus' name in vain. I just asked you a simple thing, my friend. If, if people do, people they can do whatever they I'm want. I'm not saying about religious, I say I'm saying do people use because, like, same thing. I just have one thing that's not making me become Christian, and that is like the slavery. And people use Jesus' name What's in slavery? vain What's and slavery, slavery no, in the slavery. Bible. Okay, it did, says okay, that you can beat your slave. Could did, you tell me, did Jesus who, own slaves? I never said Jesus owned slaves. Okay. I said in the Bible. Okay, for me, I, my best example is Jesus, not someone else. And yeah. if we go back on time, slavery okay. was was a normal thing at that time. And okay. uh, 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 the Bible says there's no free, there's no slave, there's no Greek, there's no Hebrew. For all of them, they are one by Christ. They are equal. So the Bible is so clear about that. But slavery. Could you tell me where in the Bible it says that. I don't. I just. I just want to see where it says that in the Bible. Okay. It, so now, if I, if, because I'm trying to understand. Uh, when you are asking about slavery, is that something yeah. you believe believe is going to stop you from being a Christian if there's a slavery? In in the context, I'm it's, I'm sure in Exodus, he's it says that um, that um, the the slave you could like beat them or something. This is the law. This is the law. You see, the Jews they are living thousand of years ago. So yeah, uh, uh, when, when we you see, in order to be fair. We have yeah. to go back on time. We are talking about, uh, 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 like, we have a law in in, uh, uh, in Texas. If you yeah. uh, uh, if you put your underwear with your wife underwear in the line outside in the garden, you should be taken to jail. This is not allowed. Now it sounds yeah. funny, right? It sounds even yeah. stupid. But in a yeah. certain time, people they believe in this, and it was their law. Okay. So. Uh, what what you think it is not right now it was right at that time however the Jews 
the when they speak about slavery a Hebrew person he can give himself as a slave let's yeah. say uh, I you borrow from me money and this yeah. money you are you know uh, you cannot pay me back so what yeah. do you do you come say to me and you say I'm going to be your slave the yeah. maximum of a slavery in this case is going to be seven years okay. seven years after that you will be free totally free and then okay. after that uh, your 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 debt is paid so slavery it was a way to pay your debt you know like okay I will work for you even my family they will work for you okay. all right so uh, uh, when we understand slavery we, okay. we should try to understand it based in what it was not the base of today not in today but you could say the same thing because you tell muslims that okay you, the, the example muslim use are the one that says oh yeah slavery was about that time but muhammad all he wanted to is was like change it through our time is the exact same thing i don't know what you mean because in when you oh, ask muslims okay, you right mean, and okay, you tell you, them okay, okay. oh so, yeah slavery is wrong why allah did not stop it and they tell you that slavery in that time was based on the economy and everything and he did not want no, to no 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 this is not no no i'm not saying that i'm not saying that i'm saying i'm saying when you want to judge something you yeah. go back on time the same as i give you the example of uh, uh, the law of texas you have yeah. to go back on time to understand the mentality and how people live at that time so the law in texas and divine is different because the yeah, people doing that no but you, you see you are mixing you are mixing between what is divine what is the law of a man god he gave so, god he gave commands to moses and those are the ten commands and then moses okay. is a leader and he have a okay. nation to lead and then he gave them commands which is his commands and those commands is what is best for them but doesn't okay. mean doesn't mean that the jews did not do uh, uh, wrong the same as i do wrong today here we go okay. we are in the 2019 but yet slavery still is exist who said that slavery does not exist but there's two there's a there's a new form of a slavery today you are working for a big big a huge company yeah remote modern day control, slavery remote controlled even your your mind your mouth can be shut by a company right now youtube can shut me down they okay. can they can they can they can this is a slavery we okay. have i have no choice but to use youtube why because i'm not free this is the only one i can use the rest yeah. I cannot afford it, and if they can afford it, they will shut me down too. So there yeah. is many form of slavery, but yeah. slavery always adopt itself to, to a new level. Today you want to live, you want to you want to work. Where do you work? There's a huge companies who own the world. The budget yeah. of Google is more than the budget of many countries altogether. Just okay. one company. That yeah. is a form of a slavery. They control the world, they control politics, they are the one who make presidents, they are the one who make, cause wars. They are the one who so slavery is just a form it's changed its skin depend on the time and for us uh, uh, when we talk about slavery we are trying always to judge with the mentality of today uh, okay. we should not do that we should go back uh, and uh, compare between what people they used to live with and okay. what it is today now yeah. when, I, when I go and see uh, 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 the Messiah talking as I said to you uh, you know them from their fruits, correct? correct. So, Muhammad he owned slaves. Yeah. Jesus never owned slave. Why? Who Jesus? Yeah. Why Jesus never owned slaves? Muhammad is false, man. You cannot. I know, but why cannot, Jesus? Wait, okay, Muhammad okay, is straight up. As long as you are saying, hold on, I'm trying to go with you. As long as Jesus never owned slaves. Yeah. Why? I don't know because but there is I don't know I don't know what to say on that there's, uh, there's slaves he can buy some slaves okay okay he can buy some slaves why not why he did not I don't know because okay. I don't know what he was thinking I go back no it's not about what he's thinking I go back we says you know them from their fruits all right so Jesus a human being they do things because simply they like to own each other okay they like to own each other so okay. because they like to own each other they like to control each other they do okay. things but Jesus, he don't like to own you. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. You got me on that one, that slavery one, because in, in the context of you saying me, right? The Bible does not allow slavery, but it doesn't. It, it's two different slaves. But what about all the slavery that happened, and then they they use Christianity's name, where, the missionaries, like and everything? Like where, like where the you mean the European? Yeah. Okay. Well, where in the European they can use 
uh, uh, the teaching of Jesus to uh, make it legitimate to to uh, to capture slaves. They cannot. This is the. But what about man sitting destiny in America? Friend, it says friend. that the um, no. the they God gave the land. My friend, to, you are mixing between Christianity. You are mixing between Christianity and what people do. Okay. That is, have nothing to do with Jesus. If I go now to Africa to go Somalia and says yeah. I am a white person, I want to fight the black people. Yeah. That does not make me Christian. That make me an yeah. apostate. I am not even close to Christianity. Because in order to do that, I have to support myself. Says, okay, God told me to do that. So did Jesus yeah. says, go to me and go and take a, 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 take anyone as a slave? He never did that. So when you try to compare, you have yeah. to be fair. You have to judge Christianity by the teaching of Christ, not by my action. I am not Christ. I can so be a sinner. Action can, of Christ, my friend. I can be a sinner. I can be a criminal. I can be a killer. Yet I call myself Christian Prince. Correct. So the question is: Did those yeah. people who practice slavery practice it because Jesus said to them? You know what I mean? Okay. If that is not the case, then you have nothing to do. You have nothing against Christianity. Okay, so that one, right? On the doubt of slavery, you took my doubt out of that. Okay, I accept that one, right? So my second question would be, in the context of Christianity, free will, right? Is it the same as Islam or is it different? What do you mean? In the free will of, of like, in Islam, Allah knows everything, correct? Same yeah. as you said that Moses, Allah decreed for him 40 years before he even knew that's happening. Adam, yeah. And correct. Yeah, no, we have a you know, for us we believe in a free will. This is why okay. this is why I showed you the verse where Jesus said, Not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of my father, but the one who do his will. In order for but this does the Lord know the outcome of the result, does he know does he know what I'm gonna what I'm gonna do tomorrow? No, knowing the future does does not mean that he is making you do the future. That because of his ability, not because of his uh, making the future. So still is going to be your will, your decision, your make. So it's kind of confused because he told me he's a, he he has the ability to see the future, right? If he has the ability to see the future, if I did not do the actions yet, so isn't it still like if I did not do the actions, how's he how's he able, able to guess it? That's, I'm just confused okay. on that one. Okay, what what is the word the prophet mean? Prophet, hmm. uh, someone who like prophesies, or he's just I don't know, okay. or, like in one context, like so the Islam prophecy, way, or which way you would know. Prophecy, uh, pro prophesying yeah? is about knowing the future. Okay. Okay, but knowing the future will not change the fact that it is you who is doing the future. It's not a destiny. So when I say to you that God, He prophesy uh, that uh, uh, the the sun will lose its uh, its. Uh, uh, you know it's right here this is God doing this is not my doing this is because this is not about sin it's about God he would do that to the Son so but if I say to you that you know do this otherwise you will go to hell I am just telling you what is the best way to avoid hell so you have a choice to do or not to do and this is what yeah. Christianity is about so God knowing the future will not change the fact maybe you are wondering how he knew the future because he's God he's almighty he have ability we don't have that's why we you know when we say a miracle God is a miracle it's hard okay. to comprehend how he can do that because he have ability I don't have it but does not okay. mean that he made you do things in order to make him his his, his uh, let us say his knowledge accomplish so okay. he know it because you are going to do it so we don't believe that he forced you to do things we believe that we have a choice and this is why you know uh, 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 the logic of being rewarded will not be logical if he forced me to do something like as an example right. if God made me give donation to a poor person yeah. and then I will be saved let us say this religion teach whatever religion uh, uh, if I do give donation to a poor person uh, he mm -hmm. will take me to heaven but if he is the one who made me it's mean I don't deserve to go to heaven it's mean it's, he, it's him who made me do it right yeah. So the logic of reward is you do the right thing by your choice and the logic of punishment is you doing the wrong thing by your choice Otherwise, I should not be rewarded Neither be punished because none of those was my choice 
right? Yeah. Okay, so Christianity does not teach that. This is why when I showed you Jesus saying, not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of my father, but the one who do his will, that because simply you have the free will to choose or not to choose. Otherwise, Jesus, he says, you like it, you don't like it, you have, you know, that's it. He said, okay, say Shahada. No, he didn't say, he's here, he says, to those who say Shahada, you witness for me by your mouth, but you are not truthful. So, you can say, I believe, but you are false. So here is you doing the will of the Father. And here the will of the Father is a destiny, but in different way. As an example, God, he did deny for us. <laughs> if you are believing, you go to heaven. This is a destiny. But you are the one still you have to believe. If you don't believe, you will go to hell. That is a destiny, which means we cannot change it. But still, it is you who decide where to go. So let us say, I put you in the highway, and I say in this highway there is exits. One to hell, one to heaven, two, take one. But that will not change the fact that there is a highway, and this is the only highway in front of us, have to exit. That is a destiny. This is the only destiny we believe in it. In Islam, no. Allah, he chose for you the exit. Allah, he chose to what you will do. Allah chose how it, it work, and we don't believe in such a garbage. Oh, man. I just don't know what to say, man. It's just, it's a lot to take in, man. It's just a lot. It's up to you. You know, for me, uh, uh, I, I did my my part. I invited you to believe in the Messiah. Take your time. Read the go four Gospels. And, uh, you know, uh, and see for yourself. And uh, when you feel that you really are ready to accept in the Messiah, I, and, uh, I, you know, I encourage you not to hesitate for a second. But don't accept him if you don't want because that will not help you if you are a hypocrite. But I don't want to go to hell, man. This is your choice. I'm saying, see, you see, it's not, uh, uh, I don't want you to accept the Messiah because you are scared of hell. I want you to accept the Messiah because you are convinced and you became a believer. If you You're right, man. You're right, man. Like Rafi Deen, there's no compulsory religion, man. No, in Islam, this is a false uh, statement, by the way. In no, I mean, in your context, there's, you're, no. not, you're not forcing me now. So no. I like that, man. Yeah. No, I'm not forcing you, and nobody forced you. Even the Messiah will not force you. It is a choice you choose. It's a decision. This is why there's a reward and there's a penalty, because we make a choice. You see, like the Messiah is the same as a firefighter. He comes to your house. He says, there's a fire, and this yeah. fire is going to burn your house. Follow me, otherwise you will be burned. Then you say to him, I don't want, I don't believe you. Look, okay, your choice. Don't believe me. I did my part. So it's up to you to believe or not to believe. Everybody is responsible for his decision. God, he gave you a gift. It's called the brain. Use it. If your brain make you believe that you should be an atheist, okay, be an atheist. It's your decision. No, I'm not saying being atheist. I don't want to be atheist. No, no, I'm not saying you are. Not. I'm saying whatever your whatever your decision is going yeah. to be, you are the one is responsible for it. Akhi, Akhi, you see, Akhi, you 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 see, it's like how do I say this? It's really you guys like put doubts in us and take us out of Islam. But what's next, man? That's the point. The next what should you do? The, what's the next, next? That's the, the point. The next it's, for me it was has, easy leaving Islam. It was easier leaving Islam, but doing what next is okay, harder so than so, anything. And doing really, and you should understand that. Okay, it sounds like you are blaming me for making you leave Islam. I did not no, I'm not I'm not blaming <laughs> you. I'm not blaming <laughs> you. Islam itself, if I just had to be blind and follow, I would be happy. I would be happy. I was happier when I was a Muslim. I did not know when I was a blind follower, I was just happier. Okay. I, I say to you and I confirm to you. Uh, there is no better name in this earth or in heaven to follow better than Christ. There is nobody, no one. And from their fruits, you shall know them. The fruits it should be your guide to follow or not to follow. And the fruit of the Messiah is beyond imagination, beyond even wisdom, beyond uh, 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 dignity. It is extremely high. There is no way that this is a teaching of a human being like us. So for me, I am not, I don't have a doubt for a second in my belief as a Christian. You should make a decision based in what you think is right for you. I am I'm sorry about that. I did not meant to blame you for leaving Islam. That came out wrong. No problem. It's not me to say that. Thanks. You're doing a great work, man, for like, for teaching us the wrong with it. 
but I just that just came out wrong. Sorry about that. Right. But there's no there's no what's next. You don't have like programs on what's next. No, this is why you were saying what next is is you is you. Next is you. You are now. You are free, my friend. You are free. So uh, Islam is like a slavery. It's a form of a slavery. Yeah. And even the Muslim believe they are a slave of Allah. For yeah. us, Abdul Rahman Abdi. Yeah. So you know, even when they ask Jesus how to pray, he says, "Say this: Our Father art of heaven. He is our Father." So God is your father and he wants you to be saved and the father is inviting you to his house So it's your decision to believe or not to believe to accept or to reject I can do nothing more. I can do nothing less because as I said, it's a personal invitation God he use us Willingly he don't use me forcing me. He use me willingly, which means I choose to invite you to save you and to accept Christ and you if you accept that is something you do willingly and this is why there's a reward for that Amen. um I don't want to waste your time there's like some Abdul's here that wants to debate with you because I already left the cult so my email is I'm just gonna say my email loud out to anyone that wants to email me and have no, no, a like no, 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 a one-on-one no, no, conversation no, no, hold, on, hold, on, hold, hold on hold on don't give your email at least not in my in life on air because they okay. might try to hack you you know don't do that to yourself be careful Okay. All right. So I want someone like I don't want I, you, I totally understand that I just wanted some Christian person to like help me. That's it All right, give me your email and text and I will send you to someone I appreciate man. Just keep up and just one thing man the Aisha thing man Um, the Aisha uh, like I talk to a lot of Muslims my, my small community the Aisha thing And that's one of the reasons I left Islam. They tell me that back in the day women mature faster uh, Well, you know, uh, this is very funny because uh, uh, Saudi Arabia, it is Saudi Arabia, and it's still six years old. Girl, is a six. You, you know, you do not need. You can go watch any video on YouTube for children's of Saudi Arabia, and you will see the kids are still kids. All right. Thank you. I'm gonna text you, Ava. Have a nice day. Man.